Yeah, I'm visiting with some uh, St. John's Tipton Blue Jays and, uh, and their head coach uh, uh, from St. John's Tipton from the uh, uh, East squad. Of course, we have Garrett Greif and uh, Josh Westling with us and Coach John Bengesser. And we'll, we'll just start, work down the line. We'll start with Garrett Greif. And then, uh, Garrett, uh, how did it feel when you found out you got picked to be on the Kansas State Men All Star football team? Well, I was pretty excited about it. You know, uh, it's a great honor to be on there. And my brother played on it, so I'm glad I get to come fill in his shoes. So. It was, it was, I was pretty excited about it. Now, the guy you listed as a running back, did you play any defense or too early to tell him this point? Oh, I'm not real sure yet. He's got that spread offense. I was working a little bit of uh, receiver here, and uh, I'm not sure if he'll have me on both or not, or one, or I'm not sure what he'll do. What's it feel like to have uh, playing with Josh one more time and have your old coach with you, too? Oh, it's great. It's, it's quite, I mean, it's pretty ironic that we get to have our coach with us and my, and my, my other running back, so. I'm pretty used to playing with them, so I think it'll be a lot of fun. Well, between the two of you, you spent a little time in the end zone this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. He's playing. He spent a lot more than I did, but we, we had our fair share of end zone, so yeah, it was a good time. Okay, now tell the truth. The Caldwell coach is the head coach of this. Are you guys going to tease him at all about knocking them out of the playoffs last year or not? <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. We might might give him a little bit, not but uh, yeah, not not yet. Probably not yet. We don't even get. Oh. All right. What are you doing this fall? Uh, I'm going to uh, Manhattan, K-State, and I'm going to uh, major in architectural engineering. All right, very good. Thanks, Garrett. Yep, thank you. All right, we'll bring in Josh Wesley here. What a year was it for Josh? He had 42 touchdowns, over 1,700 yards rushing. And one thing I noticed about you, Josh, especially this last year, he did such a good job of following your blockers and being, being patient. That's a big part of your game, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I like counting on my blockers. It helped me out a lot. Yeah, you literally put a hand on them and follow them through the hole. That works pretty good. Yeah, that's just let them know I'm there. Well, and the, and, and obviously, you know, you wouldn't be able to do what you did without the offensive line doing a great job at St. John's for you. Yeah, I, I w at first I wasn't sure because we were a little bit smaller, but after the game went go got going and we got practiced, we, we did pretty dang good on the line even. Pretty cool to have Garrett here and Coach Bingesser, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of ironic to have our coach and be one of the coaches. And with Garrett, I figured he'd be the one with, with me here, so. Everybody, all these kids, everybody's pretty much a stud here, aren't they? Yeah, it's a lot different than playing just two high schools against each other, everybody's there. What are you doing this fall? Uh, I think I might walk on the Fort Hay State. All right, very good, thanks, John. Thank you. All right, we'll get Coach Bingesser in here. And Coach, uh, gosh, what a, what, a, uh, what a time it was at St. John's. You go 26 and four, you have, uh, you have three Pike Trail League undefeated seasons. It was just quite a run, wasn't it? It certainly was. And I was very fortunate to have some excellent athletes during that run. And I got two of them right here on the squad. And it's been a lot of fun. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, this this is kind of the swan song for your coaching career. And uh, uh, this is pretty cool, getting to coach an all-star game the last, you know, the last, the last game. Well, that's right. At the end of the football season, I thought uh, that was it. But then I received word that I had one more game to coach in, and it's this all-star game, and I'm excited about it. And like you said, uh, really a thrill to coach two, two of your players one more time. That's right. Well, like I said, I was talking with those guys about uh, one thing about the All-Star Game, you run into people, it's like a coaching clinic for the coaches, and you run into people that you've run into before. In this case, you had the battle against uh, Kevin Schmidt of Caldwell, and now you're coaching with him. Yeah, it's interesting. He's got a complicated uh, offense that's simple in a lot of ways, but it's going to take a little learning for it. But I think it's going to be a good one. It's a wide open type of uh, offense. and. Uh, Coach Damon Walker and I are working primarily with the defense, and we've got some good kids to work with, so uh, it's going to be a challenge to see if we can put things together to win a football game. Well, you know, you've never been one uh, to worry about being too conservative, so I don't, ma I don't imagine that bothers you too much having the ball flying around a little bit. No, I think we're going to do well. Uh, we should score some points. It's just a matter of if we can get our defense clicking to shut the other team down. John, thanks for joining us, and enjoy the week. Thank you very much, John.